Welcome. In this video, you will learn the latest on the proposed City of Raleigh Devereux Meadow Park project, including the current concept plan alternatives. I am Gary Claiborne, and I am Capital Projects Manager in the City of Raleigh Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Resources Department. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about this proposed park project. Note that this video is recorded in June 2021. This presentation will give an overview of the proposed park project, a review of existing site conditions, presentation of the current concept plan alternatives, and information on our project webpage and the various ways that you can communicate back with us, as well as a link to our project survey. The vision for converting the site to a public park use has been around for almost a decade initially with the idea of creating a greenway connection between Crabtree Creek Trail and Rocky Branch Trail in Dix Park. More recently, the vision has expanded into a full park design. The project site is located just north of downtown Raleigh along Capitol Boulevard. It is approximately 14 acres in size and is currently a city maintenance facility. The design scope proposes having the entire 14 acre site converted into public park space. Due to past use of the site, portions of the site are contaminated with chlorinated solvents, along with the presence of underground petroleum storage tanks. Most of the site is also within the floodplain of the Pigeon House Branch Trail stream that flows along the western side of the site. Specifically, the project scope includes site remediation due to soil and groundwater contamination, development of a natural and passive park, restoration of Pigeon, the Pigeon House Branch Stream, and the first phase of the Pigeon House Branch Greenway Trail. The project is currently funded via the 2014 Parks Bond. This funding covers the environmental studies and preliminary design efforts. Since 2017, the project team has been conducting environmental site investigations to better understand the nature and extent of contamination at the site. Implementation of a park will likely require some remedial environmental actions, and such will be factored into the park design and project cost. The current phase is the conceptual and schematic design phase. Public engagement during this current phase will help decide a preferred site design, ultimately vetted by the Parks Board and the City Council. Construction for this project is unfunded, but is under consideration by City Council for inclusion in the upcoming parks bond package. Now, to give credit to our design team, Tetra Tech is the lead engineering consultant overseeing the project and guiding the site remediation planning. Design Workshop is the landscape architect subconsultant in charge of park design. Ecos planning and restoration oversees the design of the stream work. Although the site for the proposed Devereux Meadow Park is currently a City of Raleigh maintenance facility, this site and surrounding areas have a rich and complex history illustrating important moments in Raleigh's past. During the pre-colonial period, the area now known as Wake County was used as hunting lands by Native Americans. Starting in the 18th century, the area surrounding the project site was part of a large tract of land holdings owned at different times by the Lane, Mordecai, and Devereux families. The area around the project site was a plantation called at one time Will's Forest. It is estimated around 1,500 people were enslaved here. Following the Civil War and into the late 1800s, the Devereux family sold the house and attached properties to various investors for development. And eventually the city of Raleigh took over management of what is now the project site. During the early 1900s, several communities developed around this area of Raleigh, including Brooklyn, 
and Smoky Hollow, along with the development of several mills. Around the 1960s, many of the original residents in these communities were forced out due to redevelopment. In the early 1900s, records indicate that the project site was used as a public space for recreation and community events. At that time, the site was referred to as Devereaux Playground, as well as Devereaux Meadow. In 1940, the Devereaux Meadow Baseball Stadium was constructed in the southern portion of the site, with the northern portion being used as a municipal maintenance facility. This stadium hosted a series of local and minor league baseball teams, such as the Raleigh Capitals and the Raleigh Cardinals. The last professional baseball team stopped playing at the Devereux Meadows Stadium in 1971, and the stadium was demolished by the late 1970s. Following the demolition of the stadium in the late 1970s, the entire site was fully converted over to the city-owned maintenance facility than it is today. From 2016 to 2019, portions of the northern end of the site was used as a staging area by the North Carolina Department of Transportation for construction of the Capitol Boulevard Improvement Project. This project led to the removal of all but two of the site buildings. This photo shows several opportunities and constraints in and around the site. With the site's location just north of downtown, there's opportunity for it to serve as a gateway landmark for downtown. Peach Street defines a south side and can be one of the main entries to the future park. Both Capitol Boulevard and the railroad tracks behind West Street present obstacles for pedestrian access along the east and west sides. A portion of the proposed high speed rail project is planned to go through the northern part of the site. Most of the site is in floodplain. This is a limiting factor for any built structures, but provides opportunity for stormwater management on site. With the existing paving removed, stormwater infiltration and retention would be a beneficial asset within the Pigeon House Branch watershed. A few things to note in this slide is the existing Pigeon House branch, shown, shown with a thick dashed white line along the left side of the site, and that a segment of the stream is covered and within the aqueduct, as indicated by the narrow white triangle. Our understanding is that this section of stream was buried with the construction of the former ball field and under the left field bleachers. The narrow dashed line is the outline of the ball field area. We do have steep slopes along the southern portion of the site, both along Capitol Boulevard and behind the buildings on West Street. Along the northern portion of the site, the adjacent land uses are at or near the grade of the site. We are planning for this park to be a passive park. Rather than having active and intensely programmed spaces, the vision for this site is open areas with walking trails, areas of environmental and historic interpreta interpretation, as well as art, stormwater management areas such as wetlands, restoration of the Pigeon House branch, including possible daylighting of the culverted sections of the stream or moving the stream location altogether and into a more natural stream alignment. The next few slides show some themes for the future park, including precedent imagery examples taken at other park sites around the world. The designs that you will see all embrace some level of site restoration, stream interaction opportunities, site trails, environmental education, respite in a public space, opportunities for public art, an urban gateway experience, promenade with more structured walking paths and plazas, and flexible gathering spaces and open lawns and landscaped areas. 
The design team has come up with three main design concepts, mainly centered around the treatment of the existing stream. As we go through the designs, please understand that these are still concepts. There are opportunities to take preferred elements in one concept and bring those elements into another alternative. Concept one keeps the stream in the current location and no daylighting of the covered stream aqueduct. The stream bed itself could be modified to allow for a shelf, thus increasing flood holding capacity and creating riffles and other features to improve water quality. Concept two, daylights the covered stream section and further manipulates the stream bed and shelf to improve stream conditions while maintaining the existing stream alignment. Concept three embraces a total relocation of the stream alignment and profile to mimic a more natural stream and maximizing stormwater treatment and flood management capabilities. The sections shown on this slide show how the stream is treated in each of the three concepts. The light blue is the stream channel, which is where the water usually is. And the darker blue areas are the new floodplain benches. This is where the water would be spread out across the site during a large flood event. Concept one is themed as line drive with a nod to the old bar park layout and embracing more of a structured linear path layout with promenade and plaza spaces. The blue areas in the center are opportunities for garden areas and water retention features. The stream shown by the blue line remains in the current alignment with improvements to the channel and stream bed banks and shelves. Also note that the images shown in the circles are again precedent images of other park sites to demonstrate the look and feel of this particular concept. You will see other such images in the other concept plans. This slide shows a more diagrammatic view of concept one. This slide shows a section through the southern portion of the Concept 1 site. Notice the relatively flat center of the park, similar to the existing topography. Concept 2 is themed as Sculpt that focuses on the creation of graded landforms that then define the path system. Differing from Concept 1, Paths are more curvilinear and plaza areas are more informal. There are opportunities for public art to complement the landforms. As in the other concept, the blue areas in the center of the site could be for garden areas and stormwater mitigation basins. Pigeon House Branch, again shown with a blue line, remains in its current alignment, but the concrete cap is removed over the aqueduct, thus daylighting it. This slide again shows a more diagrammatic view of concept two. Here's a section view of concept two showing the proposed graded features and opened aqueduct on the left side of the section. Concept three is themed as meander with the main design driver being the new stream channel flowing through the center of the park. The multiple meandering paths allow opportunities for visitor interaction with the new stream, including pedestrian bridges and overlooks. Like concept two, there are opportunities to create graded landforms. While this may be considered the most natural of the options, 
This design also shows areas for plazas and flexible gathering spaces. The concept three diagram. And here's the concept three site section. Notice the stream is now shown on the right side of the section, which is the Capitol Boulevard side of the park. This slide shows a side by side comparison between all three concept designs. I want to thank you for viewing our presentation on the proposed Devereaux Meadow Park project. Here's our contact information, including our project specific web webpage. You can also go to the City of Raleigh main webpage and search for Devereaux Meadow Park project. We also have the project phone number, as well as a project email to send in any comments or questions that you may have. Note that the phone number goes directly to a voicemail box. We will respond to any questions that come in through either of these methods. And very important to us here at Raleigh Parks, here is a link to our current project survey. We invite all that have not participated in the survey to please do so as it will guide our decision making process moving forward. Please note that all survey responses will help guide us to a preferred site design. Again, thank you for your attention. I'm Gary Claiborne. Thank you.